Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is August 15th, 2017. Taking a look at some solar conditions right now, our solar wind speed is at a calm 410 kilometers per second with a density of 4.7. AR2670 hung around for a while, has exited the sun, but look out for AR2661. It is growing and crackling with C-class solar flares. Looking at our KP indices, we are sitting at a 1 and our 24-hour max is at a 2. So no geomagnetic storms to report of at this moment. And looking at our SDO, we do see a large coronal hole just above the equatorial region. And we have our eye on that as well as solar wind speed could exceed the 600 kilometers per second range. And quickly... Just the other day on the internet, I saw an interview with the solar physicist. He had told someone that cosmic rays do not impact climate. I want to read you a description of what causes a raindrop. And this is off of a NASA education uh, segment here. But it says, way up high in the atmosphere, dust and smoke and particles suspend in clouds create places where moisture can settle and form into drop. The drops sitting up here are like little globes of water, nearly round and spherical. Raindrops form into this shape because the surface tension of water, which is sometimes described as a skin that makes the water molecules stick together. But the molecules don't form on a skin. The water molecules stick together because they are more attracted to bonding with each other than they are to bonding with air. So the particles are what's holding the raindrop together. Now, moving over to spaceweather.com where they do discuss cosmic rays and if it has any impact at all on our climate. Cosmic rays can seed clouds, trigger lightning, and penetrate commercial airplanes. Now, what are cosmic rays? Cosmic rays are highly charged particles, super highly charged particles. With that being said, when you have increased highly charged particles in our atmosphere, because of our grand solar minimum that we are approaching and then combine it with these storms that are happening across the globe in Sierra Leone where thousands have been displaced from monsoon rains 300 plus are dead mudslides India Bangladesh Nepal over 175 people feared dead again monsoon rains extreme flooding why are we seeing all of this rain it's simple, highly charged particles. The increase, our weakening magnetosphere is allowing more highly charged particles into our atmosphere that are interacting with current particles. And that's why we are seeing these rain amounts where we have storms. Some areas are seeing as much rain in a two day period than they get in the entire year. We had China with 60 inches of rain in two days. They're calling for more rain in India. India is going to receive another six inches of rain in the region on top of what they've already received. These regions are not used to this kind of rainfall, and now we're seeing the results of what happens to these regions when we have this much rainfall. The amount of moisture, the amount of flooding, the landslides, the destruction it's causing. I've seen an article where it is saying that there's over a million people affected right now by the monsoon rains in India, Bangladesh, and Nepal. So, in closing, when I see an educated person tell the public that cosmic rays do not have an effect on the climate, I have to wonder, is it possible that he's being paid off to say something like this? Because it's clear, there's evidence all around us, acknowledgement of cosmic rays being highly charged particles, there has been an increased amount and it's been documented and recorded therefore causing these monsoon rains these rain bombs that are falling all of a sudden everywhere not just in one part of the world but everywhere we've seen this kind of flooding in the united states and in europe africa and india and china and japan it's not just in one region it's everywhere so I just wanted to hopefully reach out to people who maybe have heard that cosmic rays do not affect our climate when in fact they do. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll talk soon.